Paul, you know, I've read the letters from TRICARE and the Pentagon, and they say specifically money did not come into the equation here. This is not about money. That's what TRICARE says uh, in, in the letters and in some of the statements they've released. Uh, what, what have you heard from the people that you deal with, uh, vets directly? Well, what we've heard is that there are a lot of folks who need care. I mean, as many as one in five folks coming home from Iraq and Afghanistan could have a traumatic brain injury. Many of them are, are undiagnosed. So, so they need this care. And, it, and if the Pentagon isn't on top of this, they should be. Secretary Gates should, should solve it immediately. And I hope that, you know, this, this interview here and the press surrounding this and also the, the mobilization of the veterans community behind this will get them to make a change quickly and, 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 and permanently so they can get these folks the care they need. I, and I, I just got to say again, I mean, I, I refer patients, I think most of the doctors in my field, many fields, refer patients for cognitive therapy all the time. I was stunned to hear that there was a, there was a, a real concern about the adequate science here. I mean, Paul, you deal, uh, again, directly with these vets coming home, but put a face on this for us. Uh, are, are, there, are there specific stories or, uh, of men and women that you've met that are going through this problem now? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Our deputy executive director has done four tours overseas uh, since 9-11. And, and if he's around a blast, he actually got shot in the face. So he, he needs to be screened for traumatic brain injury. He needs to be treated for traumatic brain injury. Uh, and his family needs to be supported throughout that process. There's another key element here, Sanjay, that, that's overlooked. Until the defense appropriations bill just passed yesterday, there was no screening for traumatic brain injury before right. and after deployment. So, you know, in that flurry of legislation in Washington this week, the new defense bill will finally set up screening for every service member before and after. And I think that's going to catch a lot of folks that have been suffering with this issue and didn't even know it. It's really an invisible injury that often manifests itself in other ways over time. And, and, and the, the benefits of, of cognitive therapy, attention, memory, ability to yep. function with your family, all of those are, are significant uh, benefits that uh, may be um, harder to measure as compared to some other things in medicine, but so significant. I, I just want to come back, T, to this, this, this money issue again. Again, TRICARE, along with the Pentagon, has adamantly said this. I'm sure they told you the same thing. It's not about money. Have you specifically heard otherwise that it is in some way about money? Uh, yeah, uh, some of our reporting, some of the sources that we talked to, talked about being at meetings where money was a big topic of discussion. And we just recently found a letter where uh, an assistant secretary at the Pentagon also mentioned that they basically want to get the best bang for their buck here. So money does play a role. I don't want to suggest the Pentagon is withholding treatment to save money, but they are approaching this treatment very cautiously because they know it costs a lot of money and they want to make sure to themselves that it works. I got to tell you, from my perspective as a neurosurgeon, as someone who's also been to Iraq and Afghanistan, I can't emphasize enough what an important issue this is. Uh, we're obviously going to continue to follow it. T. Christian Miller, Paul Rykoff, thanks so much for joining us, both of you. Happy holidays. Thank you. You too. Thanks for having us.